My name is Johnny Miller. I'm a point blank online tutor and I, I write courses and I teach uh, Ableton Live courses for point blank. Today I'm not making a track at all, I'm just experimenting and just playing around really with some of Live's uh, kind of built in functions that I tend to use day to day when I'm making tracks, but I thought I'd make uh, a little tutorial on one function in particular that I use pretty much all the time, uh, which is freeze flatten. Uh, this is a way of kind of rendering audio in Ableton really, really quickly and easily. So you can take a sample or a MIDI part, any any part of your track really, do something with it, change it in some way, make it yours, and then quickly render whatever you've done to a new piece of audio. And I tend to work in cycles. I tend to start with you know a single piece of audio like I've got here, which I'll show you in a moment, and kind of mold it and shape it a little bit and render it to audio, do some more work on it, render it to audio and kind of recycle it into something new and it's great fun and it really shows what Ableton you know how powerful Ableton is um, as a sound design tool as much as a music production or a DJing tool. So for this I'm going to use um, some samples from uh, this really cool pack by Industrial Strength Records called Sweep and uh, if I just click in here um, let me kind of give you an, an idea of what this is. It's basically um, just sweep samples so sort of sound effects and noises and these are ideal for on your tracks little transitions between sections so kind of building up to a break maybe you'd have one of these creeping in just leading up to the big breakdown or the big drop so they're very very useful to have and I mean you can make some of these with your own synths and you know just in a number of different ways but it's quite useful to have a series of them just kind of ready to go um, they're all in the key of C as well so musically you can tune them to whatever track you're making at the time but I tend to take these as I'm going to show you today I tend to take these I tend to do something with them and kind of change them and make them my own in some way just use them as starting points really for you to kind of create your own sound so this is the sample I have in session view just one of the sweeps, nice and clean. Got a kind of flanger effect on there and some filtering. It sounds really nice and uh, it's a nice kind of constant sweep. I'm going to cut this up a bit and get it a little bit more staccato and a bit more kind of old school acid sounding by using uh, auto filter. And if I pop auto filter on there and just bring up the LFO amount and then uh, use the interface here to just bring the filter frequency down and the Q value right up. If I bring the rate up as well, it's quite extreme kind of modulation effect. Let's speed that up even more. Okay, that sounds cool. And uh, now I'm just going to add a uh, ping pong delay and just give this a little bit of kind of polish. And that's the one thing that the original sample didn't have any of. It didn't have any delays at all. Okay, so let's render this now. So freeze flatten. I'm just going to stop the clip and uh, right click and freeze track. And then right click again and flatten. That simple. So I've rendered all those effects onto the audio clip itself now to create a new clip. If I just turn the clip volume up, let's have a listen to this. So there again, all the effects have gone off the track now. They're all rendered, the effects of the, uh, the effect devices are rendered onto the clip. And that's how Freeze Flatten works. Now you could use this a million different ways. You can use clip envelopes, any clip envelopes changes. Um, you can render onto the clip. Let's just do that quickly. Go into clip envelopes and just do some clip volume. And um, if I just, uh, I'll do something simple just quickly. There we go, just drawn in some clip, clip envelopes volume changes. Doesn't sound amazing, but you get the idea. Right click, freeze track, right click, flatten. And there is the new audio, including the volume changes. So 
So that's how to personalize your audio, you know, use fr uh, Freeze Flatten to re-render and resample quickly and easily. And there are other ways to do this. You can resample just to another audio track um, or record something down into a range view. There's a few different ways to do it, but Freeze Flatten is so fast and quick. It's good for experimentation. Okay, cool. So you can learn loads more cool stuff like this at pointblankonline.net. And I'll be back again next week to show you some uh, cool little tricks with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Peace.